Last June, my very favorite chocolate store, Laughing Moon Chocolates, closed their doors, much to my chagrin. We loved Laughing Moon Chocolates, not only for their amazing flavor, but because for many years, it was a special vacation stop for us in Stowe, Vermont. They made their chocolates on site. So every time we walked into their shop, we were engulfed with this aroma that sent our senses into a happy orbit. Through the years, we ordered their candies for family gatherings, such as bridal and baby showers, weddings, rehearsal dinners, and retirement parties. So these delicious Laughing Moon chocolates made their way not only to our taste buds, but into our hearts. In the local newspaper, the Stowe Reporter, was a story about the owner, Lee Williams, who decided after 22 years and enduring significant staffing issues caused by the pandemic, that it was time to begin a new chapter in her life. In her words, I have never been afraid of taking a leap. And take a leap, she did. When the doors closed, she joined an apprentice boat making program in Maine and also became part of a restaurant staff, saying that she hopes one day to return to the chocolate business. I believe Lee Williams embodied today's gospel message when Jesus says, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Lee let go of a business that was near and dear to her heart and to the hearts of her many loyal customers. Yet, she knew it was time to make a change that would allow her to grow in different ways. And the new owners, Lake Champlain Chocolates, have grown the business through a more diversified product line, offering lattes and ice cream in addition to delicious candy. At its heart, today's gospel is about letting go, dying to what was, so that greater life can spring forth. These words are easy to say, but living them requires a strong inner spirit that is willing to take a risk. So what do we need to venture into this landscape of risk? I'd like to offer three things. First is an open heart that is willing to try something new. An open heart that is, as our first reading says, has God's law of love written upon it. Second is courage to leave the comfort of where we are and move into something different. Third is a willingness to face the unknown and walk forward with faith that the Holy One will guide us as we listen to our inner voice and to the voices of those who truly love us. An open heart, a courageous spirit, and a willingness to face the unknown help us to live the gospel message. Let's now consider a couple more ways to live this gospel. I invite us to bring to mind someone we have needed to let go. Perhaps a loved one who was dying. Maybe our children as they went off to college. Or a relationship that was no longer life-giving. Think of how an open heart and courageous spirit 
helped us to walk into that time of transition and how our faith helped us to persevere during that period of sadness or struggle. On a personal note, one of the deepest letting goes I have experienced was when our children went away to college. Let's just say that tears flowed freely. Although our goodbye was different for each of our three children, all the goodbyes were heart-wrenching and contained lots of wisdom for me to unpack. We had nurtured and taught them through the years and loved each one dearly. This made it tremendously difficult to say goodbye to that part of our lives. Yet I knew letting go was the loving thing to do for them. And that through this letting go, they would have the opportunity to grow and blossom and become who they were meant to be. Turns out, letting go is also the loving thing to do for ourselves. A rite of passage that gave us a different perspective on parenting and opened us to new adventures. For all of us, letting go, as difficult as it is, can yield a rich harvest. Finally, I invite us to think of some thing we have let go or are being called to let go. Perhaps fear, control, or a judgmental attitude. It takes courage to face our fears or let go of control and takes an open, honest, and humble heart to acknowledge where our ways of being have missed the mark. Yet when we do, dying to them can yield a rich harvest of growing trust, inner freedom, and greater understanding of ourselves and others. Whether contemplating a new job, a different life chapter, or letting go of someone or something, take a loving leap that will allow that grain of wheat to become a rich harvest. Keep an open heart, demonstrate courage, and be ready to face the unknown. During these last days of Lent, let us reflect on how God is calling us to let go of what was so that a harvest of new life can come forth. Remember, that God's wall of love is written upon your hearts, embracing you in all of life's changes. <laughs>